Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Had a good night at uh, the pin last night. Got up this morning, walked the dunes, found a freshwater lake there which I've never seen before and I think it's just because of all the rain we've had this year. And it's a pretty wet morning, we have a fair bit of rain going through. It looks like it's cleared up a bit now. It could be clearing over the back there which would be nice. But uh, we just decided to do uh, up anchor and we're heading down to Tipler's Resort. So uh, that'll be the destination for today. And it's great on board at the moment. Uh, I don't even have to steer the boat. We've got this young lady here who's um, doing a great job at helming this vessel. So it's really good having Karen on board. She's learning a bit and uh, I can relax a bit because she's doing a great job. She's going to... Um, She's going to panic a bit in a minute because there's a big, big part barge heading our way and she's going to get sweaty palms. <laughs> She'll be all right. Another successful voyage. Well, Karen's been on board for three days and learnt four knots. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> no, she's doing pretty well actually. So she's learned a few knots. Um, she's been a great help on board, steering the boat everywhere. Haven't used the autopilot for three days. That's, she's been good like that and uh, you had a great walk and a, and a bit of fun at Tipplers today and yeah she's been great company so I'll, I'll miss her when uh, she leaves after the weekend. She's got to go back to work! <laughs> Terrible work. Anyway, um, yeah, we might we'll catch up again down the track somewhere. Hope you've had fun. I've had a ball. I've learnt heaps. That's good. Learnt a real lot. That's good. Beautiful sunset. Lovely. Magnificent rum. <laughs> day and uh, 
unfortunately it's going to be the last one out on the boat for a little while we're heading up the uh, back way to the marina at the moment we'll be at Hope Island in about uh, probably three quarters of an hour time I'll tie the boat up and uh, that's probably where she'll stay for two or three weeks I've got a fair bit to do and I've got to get down to Melbourne and see the kids so that's what we're going to do uh, after that We'll be on the hard stand, we'll anti fowl and do a couple of other jobs, and then north for the winter. So a little bit sad to be going back to the marina because we really do love being out. It's been great having Karen on the boat. Um, she's heading home probably tomorrow or the next day. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a great end to a great trip uh, down south and, and back up. I've been back in the marina for a couple of weeks now. It's um, good to have this berth here. It's uh, what I use when I'm back on the Gold Coast. I am gonna leave the boat and uh, head down to Melbourne and see the kids in the car. So I can leave the boat here uh, very confidently. There's good security here. It's uh, pretty secure from the weather and anything else. So I can leave the boat here and, uh, and travel without thinking about it. I've already done a few things. Uh, I've serviced the main engines. I've serviced the gen set. Um, I've had a rig come down and um, have a look at what I want to do with the rig. And that's a bit of a story for later on. And a sail maker also to come down and see what I want to do with the sails. Uh, but look, the main focus is to get down to Melbourne and uh, see the kids and the grandkids. I haven't seen them for over 18 months now with COVID. So I want to get down there and catch up with them. That's the first thing I've got to do. Um, when I get back, it's going to be all work, so we'll get the boat out, uh, get it anti-fouled, do what I've got to do to the mast uh, and headsail, and uh, then hopefully uh, get going north for next season. So I'm going to head to Melbourne uh, tomorrow night. Uh, I'll drive, drive down there and see the kids. I'm going to be away for a couple of weeks. Uh, I might take the camera down and we'll do a road trip down there. There'll be something for you to look at. Uh, and when I get back... The boat's going up on the hard stand and uh, I've got an anti-foul. So anyway, first things first, um, I'm going to jump in the car tomorrow night. I'll leave pretty early, probably about 2 o'clock in the morning. And we'll get on the M1 and head down to Sydney. I've got some really interesting places to visit next season. So uh, make sure you stick around and, um, and follow me up the coast. Um, I think the Whit Sundays are going to be pretty busy this year. So I'll probably skip past there. And the plan is to get up to Townsville and Orpheus Island. There's some great reef out uh, from Orpheus, only about 15 miles off Orpheus Island. So the plan is to get out there and have a bit of a poke around uh, on that reef out from Orpheus. We'll just see how it goes anyway. But plenty to do before then. Uh, we'll hard stand and anti foul, get all those jobs done, and then uh, Peggy Ann should be ready to head north again.
Well, stop number one, I'm just across the New South Wales border. I haven't been going for a, probably not even an hour yet, but uh, just stop here for coffee. And uh, we've driven into rain already, so it's starting to get pretty ordinary. I'll have to take a look at my phone. Uh, they're saying the Pacific Highway's closed at Moreland. I'm not sure where that is, but um, they're saying the New England's open. I think it's a fair way, a bit of a big detour, but um, we'll take a look at it. If the road's flooded, it's no good. You just wait there all day to get through, so. We are driving into some pretty severe weather by the look of it, so uh, pretty hard to plan it, but anyway, we'll see how we go. A cup of coffee here that'll refresh me and uh, we'll get on the road again. The road from Grafton to uh, Glen Innes is very narrow, very windy, and a bit of road work on it as well, but um, it's a lot slower trip going this way. I'm just glad it's not raining at the moment because it'll make this uh, this trip a real nightmare. But anyway, we're, we're climbing up to the high country. I've got to go around the Pacific's flooded uh, down around Lorton, so we're just getting up, uh, heading up the New England Highway, and that'll get us around uh, where the flooding is. But it ain't much of a road compared to the uh, Pacific Motorway, that's for sure. Well, I just had a half hour power nap. And the kookaburras have woken me up, so I think it's uh, probably time to head to Armadale. And then we'll get some brekkie and uh, head a bit further down. That was a pretty uh, pretty intensive trip up onto the range uh, from Grafton. Very narrow road, windy, uh, lots of potholes, very hard work, down to 60 k's most of it. So I'd do the Pacific Highway every time if I had a choice. I wouldn't be coming up this way. It's just that uh, the flooding down there stopped me getting through. Anyway, let's go and get some brekkie. in Armidale. Couldn't find one anyway, so uh, we're going to Tamworth, about 107. Could do with a break, but uh, another hour, I guess, and uh, we'll get there. At least the sun's up and it's a bit easier driving. Not raining here either, so it's pretty crazy. the uh, iconic pub at uh, Walker, uh, heading down the Waterfall Way. Um, I stopped here, I've got fuel, and uh, I've stopped at the pub to have some brekkie, so I really need something to eat, so I'm going to get some bacon and eggs. That'll uh, fuel me up, and I've already put fuel in the car, so we should be right to get down there. I've got about another seven hours to go, and I've been going for about... Uh, 8 hours and 20 minutes now, so uh, it'll be a pretty long day, but uh, the road's not too bad. It's not raining here, but uh, when I look down the coast, it looks like it's pouring down there, so I'll probably get into some rain sooner or later. Anyhow, uh, breakfast at the Walker Pub should be good. Well, it's back to Walker. They've had a landslide uh, down at Gloucester, so the road I've been travelling out's closed. I had to backtrack about 150 k's to get around the landslide. Bugger. I 
Well, that's uh, a cup of coffee at Macca's at uh, Musselbrook, and it's saying I've got four hours and 50 minutes to go. So we get a better get back on the road, I guess. A bit tired by the time I'm starting to get a little bit drowsy, but the coffee will fix me up, and uh, yeah, probably the last leg now. Been an epic voyage. Anyway, here we go again. I think it'll be uh, mainly city traffic from here. Turn right onto Maitland Street, New England Highway. Here I am at our B&B, past the Chooks. Bit of a trampoline by the look of it. And this looks like the unit down the back here. After a good shower, a comfortable bed and a great brekkie, it's time to get on the road again. Well, uh, just across the border into Victoria, it's uh, been light rain all the way down from uh, Gunny. I did get a border pass to get into Victoria, but it uh, wasn't stopped at all, so obviously you don't need them uh, now, but uh, anyway, we're in uh, Victoria, and we're going to stop somewhere and have a cup of coffee in a minute. Uh, just a little bit weary, and uh, I'll stop and have a cup of coffee and a bite to eat, and then we've got probably another two and a half or three hours to go until we're... Uh, down in Solby where I've booked a uh, b and to be near Emma. Anyway, not much traffic on the road so it's been a pretty good drive. Just over 2,000 uh, kilometres to here, and it looks like um, the rain is going to leave us. We might get some fine weather down in Victoria. Unbelievable. Looks like it's breaking up a bit. Well, I've turned off 
the Hume and uh, now I'm on the road to Yay, so this is the back way down to Melbourne. But it'll save me going through the city, so it's probably a good boy. And the rain's nearly all gone, still a little bit of drizzle, but uh, not too much left. Nearly there now, we're in the uh, Dandenong Ranges heading down to Selby, so we're only about half an hour away, I think. Big mountain ash country. Well, it's uh, a great view from my B&B here in uh, Selby. It's only about 10 minutes from Emma's place, so that's great. Um, catching up with them, the grandkids, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm right up in the bush here in the Dandenongs, and uh, beautiful view. It's a bit wet, had all the flooding in New South Wales, I had to drive through, and um, it's still pretty wet down here at the moment, but uh, maybe around the corner we'll get some fine weather. A bit cold too. So here's my little flat, beautiful, good comfy bed. Bit of a kitchenette. And a lovely toilet and a shower. Great shower actually, fantastic. So very comfortable here at Selby.